Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 comes out very soon, and although I don't have a Switch, I'll be vacationing at Luke's house until we complete it together. Either that or I'll finally cave in and buy one. Anyways, in light of all this, I start to think about my favourite Marvel games so far, and here are my top 5. In at number 5 is Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Although there are many, many great Spider-Man games, and a lot of people would put Spider-Man PS1 in their top games list, Web of Shadows is one that's always stuck in my mind. I think this is mainly because there is a karma level, meaning you could be a bad or a good Spidey. The bad being symbiote, obviously. Each side had different abilities, such as heavy attacks versus agility, and different allies you could summon. For example, Luke Cage, Moon Knight and Wolverine were for the good, and Black Cat, Vulture and Rhino and Electro for the bad. Not only could you summon them, but Venom and Wolverine featured heavily in this story. I remember taking a darker route and using lots of heavy attacks to wreck shit. Young me was left with a lasting impression of this game. Next is LEGO Marvel Avengers. I couldn't really do a list like this without putting a LEGO game in the mix. And what's awesome about this one is it was just the MCU movies in LEGO-y form. I really like the ease of travel, going between a shield helicarrier in New York, and the fact they put in side missions and mini games within New York. So there's plenty to do in the hub world itself, as well as going through all the various movies and enjoying them. As always, you get the LEGO humor, combined with the freedom of being able to play with any MCU character you can think of, including a big Hulk. What really stuck out was the way that each character seemed to have a unique travel system so you could swing as Spidey, fly as Iron Man or jump around as Hulk. This is probably my second favourite LEGO game to Star Wars and that's big praise. Next up I've got the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. Obviously it had to be in here since the whole thing is about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. You can't really put a difference between the two but I suppose the second one was slightly edge of the bet. These games had all of it. A huge character roster, many open worlds, and powerful combos. I think the best thing about the game was being able to choose your team from characters such as Wolverine, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, and just kind of creating your own fantasy lineup in the Marvel Universe. It followed a really good storyline of Secret Wars and Civil War, and the view is top down in case you haven't played it, and it played off the previous X-Men games. Best thing about it was the couch co-op. It had this down to a T. Back when video games were designed to enjoy with a friend in the same room, we plough through games like this in long afternoons, comboing up and enjoying the awesome storylines put before us. I just hope number three captures this magic of many moons ago. I'm not sure if Wolverine Origins would be in many people's lists, but for me it definitely stood out and made the crap movie worth releasing. This was so much better than the movie and it was a, easily the best adaptation of Wolverine in digital format. It had gore, violence, and really great healing graphics. You had layers, so the top layer was clothes, and it would fall off when you got damaged, the, bot, the one underneath the skin going through to the muscle and tissue. It was like they had built a whole model of Wolverine in four layers, which was adapted to the damage you took. It was good because it followed its own storyline, not the made-up one they had in the movie, and it was very comic booky. You had, you know, sentinels, proper saber tooth, everything you really wanted. You really felt like you were playing as Wolverine because you could take a lot of damage, but there was too much and you get knocked out. And what was great is it gave us an 18 rated Hugh Jackman. This was way before we had Logan. I feel like if Mr. Jackman could have made a game, it would do this. If you haven't played it, you really should go back and do it. I think the last game on my list is going to be pretty obvious. It's Spider-Man PS4. I couldn't really do a list like this without topping it with arguably the best comic book game of all time. It just about edges the bet with Batman Arkham, and that's saying a lot. It's not very often I'll platinum a game nowadays, but this I had to do everything on, although I'm yet to get around to the DLT. It had everything we could hope for in a video game. Great combat, great story, and perfect characters. Not only this, but the web swing was absolutely sublime, and the New York they created for you to play in just made you want to keep going back and doing things that didn't even involve missions. What was especially good is that they nailed the experience of Peter Parker, whose world was quickly changing around him. You didn't have to go through the origins again. He was an established Peter who has been Spider-Man for many years. So the storyline was able to have a lot of twists, which maybe they would have wasted time on being an origins game. And a lot of it you couldn't see coming. They definitely took a lot of brave turns, considering they may have sequels in the future. I just hope this is the big opening for a Marvel gaming universe because this game really deserves all the praise it gets. 
Okay, so that's my top five Marvel games. Um, you, many of you will probably disagree with this list. So I'd like to hear what your top five games are in Marvel. And I hope that there are many Marvel games in the future which are going to beat this list and smash it, including Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Thanks for watching.